Hi again. Um, okay, this first video is actually going to be about abortion. Um, I don't know if I made a video on this before or not, but we're going to go ahead and do it anyway. This is just facts. I'm not stating whether or not I agree with it, although I may later on in the video, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty sure, so excuse that. Okay, abortion in 2011. 1.06 million abortions took place. In 2008, it was up to 1.21 million, excuse me. In 2002, it was up to 1.29 million. In 2000, it was up to 1.31 million. And in 1996, it was up to 1.36 million. That should tell you something. Highest number took place in California, New York, and Florida. The lowest numbers took place in Wyoming, South Dakota, and North Dakota. Women who are unmarried account for 85.3% of abortions. Okay, uh... Most of these reasons I'm about to list are not all the reasons. There are a few. Um, so hopefully I don't leave anything out. If you know of any other reasons that people have used, please tell me. Okay, the reasons for abortion are, one, would interfere with work, school, or other responsibilities. Uh, number two is can't afford a child. Number three is don't want to be a single parent or are having issues with his or with her partner or husband, excuse me. The fourth one is rape, obviously. Um, the fifth one is 12% of women reported physical problems with health. Um, I do know how that, do know what that looks, I guess, feels like, I guess. Um, not that I've ever had that problem, abortion or anything. I've never been pregnant yet. But my best friend has had issues. She's, she can get pregnant, but her body tries to abort it for her. So, she is considered extremely high risk when she gets pregnant. So, that would be one of the reasons of somebody having an abortion, I think. I think that would be a good reason. Because not only are you risking the child's life, you're also risking your own. And... I don't know if you really want your child growing up without a mother either, so I guess it could be a good reason. Although there is the alternative of putting them up for adoption either way. Okay, in 2011, two women died from complications of an, abor an abortion. Um, from 1973 to 2010, 421 women have died as a result of legal abortion. Um, the numbers of death was highest before the 1980s. In 1972, before it was legal, 24 women died from causes associated with abortion. In other words, they couldn't prove that they had abortions. They couldn't prove it. But they died from complications of the, what they thought was abortion. Now, while 39 women died from known abortions, all from illegal abortions. In other words, they were going out and having abortions, probably with crackpot doctors that didn't know what the fuck they were doing. All because we didn't make it legal, and they decided, oh, I'm going to do it anyway. Alright, minors won't tell parents. Uh, 39 states as of right now will tell the parents anyway, regardless of what the minor says or their reason behind it. I agree with that, personally, because, you know, I'd want to know if my child was getting an abortion. Just saying. Uh, which leads me to my next comment on this. I do not agree with abortion at all, in any form, besides for the rape one. But even then, it's kind of iffy. If I ever have kids and my daughter wants to have an abortion, I would prefer her to tell me 
before going out and doing it because I don't want them to think, oh, I can't talk to my mother on this. She don't, she won't agree with it. So I might as well just go out and not tell her. No, I don't like that idea because not all doctors are that good. I would prefer to know who she's going to and her reasons behind doing it. Now, I also agree that minors shouldn't have kids. I agree fully on that because they're not ready. They're not financially responsible. They're not mature enough. They're not any part ready to have kids. But at the same case, I don't want them to think that, oh, my parents don't agree with this, so I should just go out to this doctor that I don't even know or this random doctor at Planned Parenthood or whatever and tell them, oh, I want an abortion. I'd prefer them to tell me and so we could have valid co an actual conversation on it instead of them going out and going to some crackpot doctor that they don't even know or that I don't know. It's safer for me. It's safer for them. And I would prefer all parents to take it the same way that I do. Talk to your kids about it. Chances are they will listen and they will answer. But if you just freaking blow up on them, they're going to go out and do it anyway. Wouldn't you prefer to know where they're going and what the doctor is like and all the above? Or, matter of fact, go with them if you think that they're right in doing the abortion. Go with them and hold their hand and make sure they're not going to flip out. Because, you know, kids, they're emotional. And without their parents around them, they don't have anybody else. So, well, that's my little spiel on that. <laughs> All right, so that was a pretty much a short video. Um, most of the stuff I looked up was online. St like, numbers and stuff was online. So, if you don't believe me or if you think there's more to it, as I'm pretty sure there is, you can go online and find more of this stuff. Um, I did not intend to actually make this an actual comment video. Like, I made... I intended to make this a video as to the st st uh, crap, I can't talk. The numbers of abortion and the years and all that stuff. So, because I figured I didn't want my opinion put out there because everyone else is already doing that. I decided that having just putting out actual facts was a better idea than to just make an unjustified comment. So that is my video, and I will see you guys next time. Man, a man who was a tree, did I see him?